Alright, in these videos we're exploring the notion of multiplication in basic algebra problems. So something like x over 2 equals 6. Well here, what divided by 2 is 6? And that, of course, is, is 12, right? Because 12 divided by 2 is 6, so x equals right, 12. But here we're developing some of the basic balancing skills that you'll use in these kinds of equations, especially in larger, more difficult equations. The idea is this, one way to look at it is you have x over 2 equals 6, so if you're dividing x by 2, you can balance that out by doubling it, right? The opposite of dividing by 2 is multiplying by 2, and you would do this on both sides to maintain balance, and this will give you your answer, because 2 times x divided by 2, what's that? Well, 2 times something divided by something is just that something, right? Think if you have 2 times 3, that equals 6. And then if you take 6 and divide it by 2, that gets you back to 3. So 2 times something, then divided by 2, right? Those multiplying by 2 and divided by 2 cancels out. So here these cancel out, and you have something, the x. 6 times 2 is 12, and you have your answer. The other ideas, you, or other ways you might see this, um, let's say you have 5x, and that equals 10. Well, then x equals 2, right? But you're developing the intuition here. How do you know that? We'll divide both sides by 5. So before, when we were dividing by x, we multiplied. Now when we're multiplying by x to undo that, we do the opposite. We divide, and you can see that x equals 10 over 5, or 2. They might trick you up a little bit by using unfriendly fractions, like 3x equals 7. And then what? Well, x is going to equal 7 divided by 3. And you can show this the steps algebraically. So 3x equals 7 divided by both sides by 3, and then these 3's cancel out, and you see what x is equal to. So in all these problems, you're getting used to this idea if you have a times x and equals, you know, b something, then x is equal to b over a. Or if you have x divided by something, and that equals b, and then x equals a times b. This connection is going to be very useful for you in tougher problems. Thanks.